Dude, the amount of fucking trading cards, sports cards talk going on in the bunker the last two weeks. You guys got to tone it down. Well, it's like a it's like a full on black market drug ring every lunch hour, except there's just is. cards being tossed <laughs> yep. around. It is, yeah. And I I will take I'll, I'll take majority of the blame for that because um, I started getting my LeBron rookies from 03 out this mm. year, and that's the last time I collected cards, 2003. So 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Now that LeBron, I mean, score, uh, he's he's the leading scorer. I've, I've heard NBA. of him. Uh, he's going to be a future Hall of Famer. Um, it's time to start, you know, looking. It's time to sh start shopping around and seeing where I can sell these cards. Right. But how did all of a sudden you <coughs> pulling out your cards from 20 years ago lead to all the 20 year olds in our office just sitting well, there and absolutely nerding out? And they're like their eyes are twitching at these cards and they got an assembly line of something. OK, so here's how it happened. There we haven't had. We haven't had a talent like LeBron until this year being Victor Wembanyama, mm -hmm. who is the number one overall draft pick. Mm -hmm. um, so now for me, I'm like, well, I have all these LeBrons. Now it's time to start hunting some Victors. Mm -hmm. And so I started buying boxes to try and pull a Victor. And then these guys are seeing that. They're like, oh, that looks sweet. We should go buy some boxes. So they did. Mm -hmm. And that's like. So it's once your they... fault for not doing it in private. Uh -huh. Correct. All Ryan's fault. Correct. Fuck. And I was doing it in private, but then I was coming out and telling them about it. Ah. Uh... So, um, well, but if you I guys will, could knock that shit off. And I mean, hey, Tyler, Tyler, now, just get the itch, dude. You want? No, them. I don't. I don't even watch TV anymore. I just watch people open card boxes. Holy <laughs> fuck! I know, I'm it, not that bad. I am not that bad. Um, why doesn't golf do cards? They like, do. They do. That's what. That's actually why I wanted to like kind of start talking about this was because sometimes in these 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 card boxes that only have one card in them. I mean, it's an elite card, right? Mm -hmm. I've seen multiple Tiger rookie cards. Jesus. So the first year that Tiger was on tour. But well, I just have never seen a golf card ever. I've seen multiple Tiger autograph cards. Hmm. Um, I was just looking at my collection this last uh, weekend. I have an MJ. And on the back of it, it's his golfing. It's like it's his basketball card on the front. And it's his golfing card on the back. Oh, neat. So, yeah, we and we don't need to get out into all that because if you're not into it, it's hard to talk about. Is it PSA 100? PSA only goes up to 10. Well, PSA 100 would be worth way more than a 10. It would. And I have seen PS, uh, Tiger PSA 10s. Wow. So um, I think the PSA thing is fucking stupid because it can get knocked down for something you can't even control. No, 100%. It's A lot of it has to do with the printing, like the printing yeah. of the card. Fuck off with that noise. That's not my fault. When it can be subjective, too, depending on who's grading it. Yeah. So uh, anyway, sports card talk, push that to the wayside. Thank God. Welcome um, back to what episode? 145, 145 baby. Mm -hmm. nice. Come on now, Bobby. One, Tyler Ziegler in college. You were 45? Yes. Yeah, That's Jesus. either a fullback uh, or... Middle linebacker. Dude, or a, I scout, was outside de linebacker. Or a scout defense. I was basically uh, like a roll down. We ran a weird scheme. I was basically a roll down safety, but I was playing outside backer. Um, and 45 was backer. just, that's a tough number. It is very I tough. I hated it. Mm -hmm. I was I was not a fan of 45, but as a low man on the totem pole, you don't really get to choose. No, you don't. No, especially yeah. as a freshman. Yeah. Um, but I kept it my sophomore year for some reason. They piped that the wrong way. I'll call the clubhouse. We'll book another 18 for tomorrow. So. Okay, they cheated on that. They fucked their balls. Yeah, no better time for the breakfast ball than now. <laughs> Before we get into the show, before we get deep into last weekend, um, we've had a few people reaching out saying, hey, where can I get some breakfast ball merch? You guys, do you have any more merch? Mm -hmm. um, yes. I'm hoping by August we can roll out all of the new merchandise. So what we did was our last stuff, we basically sold through it or we just discontinued it, got rid of it. We're starting completely fresh. We'll have new designs coming to the website. Um, and we're, we're kind of doing like a, almost a full rebrand in a sense. Yeah. And like, it's going to be fucking sweet. It, it just everything except the content you're getting from us is being rebranded. Correct. So it's still us. We're still going to be talking about the same stuff, but literally everything from the ground up is, is going to look different. So. Yeah. Yep. So we got some exciting stuff on the horizon. Um, but for now, just hold tight. Mm -hmm. We'll let you know when we get the new merch on the website because we'll uh, we'll blast it all over the pages. We'll blast it on the on the uh, podcast, and you guys will be fully in the know. Now, Tyler, last weekend, mm -hmm. uh, 
let me start off by saying, so we went golfing last week and Saturday. We went to, I mean, when you asked me to golf on Friday and you told me what course we were going to, <laughs> my favorite course of all time, Maple yes. River Golf Club. Maple River Golf Club, Mapleton, North Dakota, almost said Minnesota. Favorite course of all time. Mm-hmm. I always tend Top to play. Top five for me. Yeah. I always tend to play well there and I always tend to have a really good time there. Now, that also depends on who you're with, right? Um, you and I haven't golfed casually together without a camera. Yeah, or at least two, some or at least some other ulterior motive. In two years. Yeah. If people can believe that, if you come to the Double Bogey Show every single week, every Wednesday morning, you throw it on. You're like, there's Ryan and Tyler again, talking golf. God, these, these guys, guys must golf yep. together all the time. No, we don't. Wrong. We don't. Yep. Because we have families. We have uh, we have places that we're at on the weekends. We got lake places, whatever. We also didn't know each other before this job, so we have separate friend groups. That's correct. Um, so to get out together casually when we're not filming is few and far between. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like sometimes like we'll play in a scramble, but in my opinion, that's like an ulterior motive. Like we're going to the scramble. We don't even play in scrambles anymore, though. We we claim that's to true. be these huge scramble guys, and we haven't fucking played in one all year. Yeah, we 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 uh we played one last year though, so it we wasn't did, two yeah, years we, since we. I know that's it. that's my only caveat to what you said, but yeah. Other than that, like he's right, we haven't done like a weekend round together, no cameras, no other reason other than we want to golf for two years, and it was the same course last time. Um, last time was a blast. And what did you think about this time, Ryan? May I start out by saying career rounds. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Thank you, Trevor. I Thank mean, the Trevor. Cat, cat's out of the bag for the 45 to 50 listeners that are I'm all friends with on 18 birdies. Yeah, okay. But- <laughs> also, let, uh, let's just put it out there real quick, Tyler. Um, right away when uh, we started to get some fans of the podcast, some listeners uh, sending me, like, I'm talking myself specifically, yep. sending me, like, the... Uh, friend requests on 18 birdies i was mm-hmm. like well do i want to keep this like so i can see my buddies good runs and i said fuck it except 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 <laughs> except Same. so i have i think i have like i don't know 50 to 100 friends on right. 18 birdies now and i i i'm assuming they're coming from the podcast i have no idea well they can't be coming from anywhere i know for a fact at least one of them is because i recognize yeah. the name of someone i dm with. yes yeah um he's actually the one that picked um ru- Jake's punishment for being so late. Yes, that's what uh, it was. Chris. Yep. Uh, shout yep. out to Chris. Friends on Instagram, <laughs> TikTok, and 18 birdies. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, I mean, if you roll with us on the podcast, we, I mean, you're going to roll with us on 18 birdies. Too. The only thing I don't like about it is I like to talk shit or support my my like actual friends that I know yeah. when they're playing around. So I have alerts on for when my buddies start tea times. And now I'm just getting random alerts when Chris in Missouri is playing golf. Like, yep. I don't know where you're from, Chris. Sorry, but yep. wherever. It's like, yeah, I hope you do good. But really, I just want to go and chirp Connor. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, but if you want to add us on 18 birdies, Ryan Sheely is my 18 mm-hmm. birdies. Tyler Ziegler. I think so. Ziegler. But well, it's Ziegler, but I, I said Ziegler I know he for, does. Content, mm-hmm. for context of how to spell it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, go. Go. Uh, Go to shoot us a friend request. I'm tr- I'm trying to get up to like 500 friends Jesus. to be the top influencer <laughs> on 18 birdies. No, just because I, I I don't know. I think it's fun. The I mean the fun part about it is during our round this last weekend we're through like three holes and must have been a listener of the pod commented on the round. He's like going low today, boys, or something. Something about like I'm taking Tyler in this one. Yeah, because here's how it went, guys. Four over through three holes. Yikes. I was even through three holes. I, I think I can I think I can genuinely say just put me down for a double on hole one. I'll just go right to hole two. I won't I won't even start on T box number one. Just put me down for a double because I mean it's gotta be like at least four out of the last five rounds. I have doubled number one. See, that's how I I'm with you. Every round, almost all summer, except for the first round of the year, yeah, when we birdied one, and mm-hmm. and Saturday last week, I've either double or tripled one. Yep. And I played yesterday afternoon, 
after this Saturday round. Yep. And I doubled the first hole. So it was just right back to normal. Coming out for a double. I mean, we are the double bogey show. It, it quite literally is exactly what we do. Yeah. I don't know what was going on, though. I mean, to start, Ryan's playing like I normally play, and I'm playing like him. So it's through three holes, I'm up four strokes on yeah. Ryan. I'm four over, and Tyler is even. Yep. Um, and then the next 15 holes, I don't know what happened. One over through the next 15 holes. Yeah. Something clicked. I go pretty fucking good. 77 through 18 holes. Tied the career best. Yes. Career best was 77. Well, no, Tyler. That is a career best for me. Because my last round of 77 last summer was a par 71. So I was six over. It is a par 71. Remember they had the hybrid hole? Oh, fuck. You're right. Yeah. Tied career hole. Tied career best. Yeah. There was a par five at this course that was playing as a par four because of some ground under repair. Yep. So it made it a par 71. Yep. Um, But Ryan was lights fucking out after three holes. Usually the wheels fall off like midway through or towards the end, not immediately. And then there's a roadside assistance repair. <laughs> On the highway, going seventy five. I hit. I hit. Uh, I, it, on number four, I hit it. I had a green in regulation. Mm -hmm. Um, I drove it. Okay, so it's that dog like right before you get to the par five on the yep. highway. Yep. Uh, drove it like kind of into the trees, but had a lane. Went over top the trees, eight iron, buck sixty nine, stuck one on the green, two putt for par. <laughs> that's what started it. <laughs> I a remember par that, that one. Shot you birdie just... the next one. You hit the shot. And you're like, "Yep, that's it," and started walking back before the before the ball even landed. <laughs> club twirl. He's like, I just <laughs> "You know, I, okay." Also, I've been trying to cl club twirl on good shots like Wyndham Clark cl club twirled against Ricky mm -hmm. um, at uh, the Open, right? The mm -hmm. U.S. Open. Yep. I've been trying to do that. I, I've been watching YouTube videos. I I can't get Dude, it. Dude, I'm really what? bad at club twirling. I know. I know. He like. I mean, that fucker yeah, spun a hundred times before he grabbed it again. <laughs> It was unbelievable. Um, but that shot felt good. And I will say one thing. This last week, I have a blister on, like I have a healing blister on mm -hmm. my middle finger of my left hand. Worth it. Um, and Trevor was watching too. I was hitting balls in the simulator last week because my swing felt like absolute dog shit. I thought I was going, <laughs> I thought I was reverting back into the shanks mm -hmm. for a little bit. And... I mean, I was one bad round away from not sleeping at night. <laughs> he was going through it in the sim. Yeah, oh I'm going through God. it in the sim. And then the next morning I went to the driving range and I couldn't hit a single fucking shot to save my life on the driving range. And I just um, I just hung it up. I said, OK, well, I'm just going to play this weekend. And I'm, I, in my mind, I'm like, I'm glad I'm playing with you and your buddies because this is going to be a fun round. Yep. I'm just going to go out and we're going to have a good time. Whatever we shoot, we shoot. Tie the career best. Yes. And uh, not only did Ryan tie his career best, so I go even through three holes. Then I proceed to, I bogey a hole. And then I, then I double bogey a hole. So now I'm three over and I'm through five holes. And then number six comes around and it is that par five turned into a par four. Birdie it. So I'm back to two over. Par my way out for my first ever two over on a nine. Best nine I've ever shot in my entire life. We were tied after nine holes. We, were, we both shot 38. Damn. Yes. We were yep. tied after nine holes. And my best friend, the one person in the world that should know oh not to God. do this. Dude. <laughs> best man in my wedding, best man in his, comes up to me. He's like, you're having such a good round, dude. Holy shit, man. This is the best round you've ever had, huh? <laughs> and that's like that was a little bit exaggerated but not much and i looked at him like Connor, i don't want to talk about it fucking die dude uh, when he started talking i knew exactly what was going to come out of his mouth and i wasn't gonna you know i was i i will admit tyler after three holes i was fully prepared to lose that day like and we i mean we didn't have a head-to-head -head going yeah but just naturally on the scorecard like mm -hmm. hey if you're lower than i am mm -hmm. you win right um, I was fully prepared after three holes. So I think that was to my benefit because then I saw how you were golfing and that I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything this entire time because I mean, he could quite literally shoot sub 80 today. Right. Mm -hmm. You, you take my, you take my two 
38, 38. What yep. is that? 76? Yep. I don't Oh, that would have been unfucking believable. I mean, you, your goal is to break 90 and you break end up breaking 80. Well, and mm -hmm. I don't know if this is good or bad, but the whole front nine, I was like, when are they gonna when are the wheels gonna fall off? When are the wheels gonna fall off? <laughs> yeah, when it's the, not good. <laughs> and and they didn't though. Mm -hmm. The whole front nine, they didn't fall off in every hole. I was like, all right, this is probably the one. Yep. And then it wasn't. Yep. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then Connor, and then I did exaggerate. Connor really just told me I had a good round going. And I was like, I don't want to talk about it yet. Because he asked me what I shot. That's what it was. Well, he did. Mm -hmm. But he also said, yeah, you're, you're like, you're playing pretty good right now. Yeah. He's like, you have a really good round going. Where did you shoot that front? And I was like, I don't want to talk about it yet. <laughs> yeah. That's, and we, we've, we've said this many times, you guys. If you just even slightly recognize that someone in your group is playing well, I mean, why even mention it? Yeah. We're going to find out scores at the end of, uh, at the end of mm -hmm. 18 anyway. Or you, how about you just be the guy that keeps keeps the scorecard so that you can just check what they're shooting and you don't have to ask. Yeah. Or can't you look on 18 birdies like you can? The rounds, and so. Connor was joined up in a group on 18 birdies with us. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough move for him. Um, I forgive him, but you can do better, buddy. I mean, you still went career best. Career best. Um, but immediately after Connor says that, I triple hole 10. Yep. Yep. And uh, now I am more strokes over on this single hole on the back nine than I was on the entire <laughs> nine holes in the front. Yep. Um, but then I end up shooting a 45 on the back. So the wheels fell off, but not really. Yeah. That's like a normal nine for me. Yep. So 83, 83 for a career best. What was a career best before? 87? Yep. 87. That one. Easy. What, what day Dang. was that? Uh, that was with Miles in Nashville. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, and I took this 83 was way more lit. That, uh, we'd use breakfast balls. Yeah, we used one breakfast ball. And there was, there was gimmies, but this 83 was way more legit than the 87 in Nashville just because of the, how large of gimmies we were giving each other in the shitty Nashville greens. Yeah, and these these gimmies were, uh, I would say, a foot and a half was the... Was, yeah, was, we played legit rubber rule on the yep. gimmies. Okay, and also, man, okay, sorry, go ahead, Tyler. Keep going. No, that's that we when we we played gimmies all day long, but we legitimately like if it wasn't inside the rubber, you had to putt it because we were playing three putt poker the whole day. Yes. So mm -hmm. we weren't playing stroke play, we weren't playing match play, it wasn't two v two. We were just playing three putt poker. Um and by the end of it, and also if you guys don't know what three putt poker is, um on our Instagram page, one of the pinned videos at the top. Yep. Uh same with same with TikTok. How to play three putt poker. The video is pinned at the top of the page. You got to go check it out. It's a super fun game. Um, the sole reason why we played so well on mm -hmm. Saturday was because the putter was on fire. And for when, when they say drive for show, putt for dough, they are absolutely correct in saying that. Yeah, we went on a rant like three or four podcasts ago about how you can't putt good unless you drive good. Take it back. We didn't. We we drove pretty well. Drove okay. Yeah, decent. But when we got on the green, we made our putts. It was unreal. Like, and not just Ryan and I, everybody. Yeah. We played three putt poker, four of us, and I've played three putt poker a lot in my life with better golfers. Like, just plain and simple, yep. better golfers than the four of us. I have never seen a group putt as well as the four of us did. Yep. Playing three putt poker. Um, so for every one putt, you get a card at the end of the, at the end of the game. And then that makes up your poker hand, um, for a chip in say, or like a putt on the fringe, which doesn't actually count as a putt on the green. You get two cards for a zero putt. Yeah. For any hole. If you hole out in general, you get two cards. Yes. I did not hole out one time. Nine one putts. Mm -hmm. Jesus. 50% of the holes that we played, I one putted. Which, and so the, for the first time ever when I've played, all four people, well, Anthony had four cards. Yep. But all, we almost all had a full poker hand, which yep. I've never done before. I've never played in a group where everyone almost has a full hand. Yeah. And it's like, hey, if you're not hitting greens and reg, but you're chipping to two feet, a foot. Mm -hmm. And I here's the other thing. I made everything from five feet and in. Mm -hmm. I didn't miss a single like five foot and under putt, which... I mean, those add up quick. You miss three of those, there's an 80 right there. Yeah. Easy. Um, so the flat stick was on absolute fire. Right, yes. Yeah. So Ryan he had the most 
one putts. He had nine individual one putts in his round. I had seven, but I also putted in off the fringe once. So I also got nine cards. Yeah, which counts as a zero putt, so you'd get yeah. two cards there. Yep. Which, yep. think about that. Just in general, just those nine cards that we got are nine saved strokes yep. in our round. That is an 83 to a 92. Yep. It's a 77 to an 86. Which which is not normal for me. Mm. Which when you're playing and you don't necessarily feel like that's happening. Like you make that putt, you kind of forget about it. You're like, oh, sweet, yep. high five. But when you look at how well you did in three putt poker and you're actually keeping track of it, and then you process those nine strokes instead of just that one putt on the hole in the moment. Yep. That's a huge amount. Massive. And like, I know everyone's preached this for years, but to actually see it quantified yes. on the paper mm -hmm. is fucking wild. Because the only difference between me playing my normal self and me playing that 83 are the nine cards I got from putting. Correct. That is it. That's never happened to either of us. No. In an entire round. We've played three putt poker many times and uh, typically we'll just have to look back at the 18 birdies app and be like, well, how many putts did I have per hole? I had 1.6 putts per hole. The best that I've previously had was earlier this year when I shot a 78, 1.9 putts per hole. Mm. So that 0 0.3 in there, I don't know. It must make a pretty big difference. I don't know, but it sure seems like it. Yeah, and it and you didn't three putt one time, did Not you? Not a single three putt. I three putted twice, but they were f from gnarly fucking downtown yeah. putts. Yeah. I don't feel bad about those three putts, to be honest. Um, I need to add one more thing, too. Now, so we were playing with Tyler, your best man at your wedding, best friend. We're playing with Connor, and we we're playing with uh, your other buddy, Anthony. And... I mean, they weren't like they weren't lights out by any means. No. Like you and I were in a cart together and mm -hmm. they were in a cart together. And I mean, they were they were hitting some good shots, but they weren't playing lights out by any means, like I just said. Um one thing that I, I wanna give them props for, one thing I really respect about those two is even though they weren't playing that good, they were like the attitude. Mm -hmm. was still like the energy was high the attitudes were great and that also contributed to us continuing to play well yeah no they're super supportive if and they would have just sat there and salt and like you know salt in their emotions and like well geez, geez, I can't afford it right now we would hit good shots and they'd be fucking coming up giving knucks giving high five shit like that that's the type of person that you need in a group especially when you're playing well now the only the only negative of of Connor is that he asked Tyler what he was shooting yeah. on the front nine. Well, I got him back. Only negative. I got him back. You did, yeah. You did a little. Uh, we did, did, a, little back, we did, we did a little back off challenge on the 18th, and I said some mean shit to both. Oh, you did very mean, and they both <laughs> proceeded. They to fucking go imploded twenty yards off the tee box <laughs> into the trees. It was unbelievable. Um, yes, but I I will give them credit. Thing. I mean. You say they aren't lights out. They were still playing pretty good. Yeah, for, but for them and well, compared and to for this, like me too, like Anthony and I, and so I told you I'd never beat Connor until this year. Okay, this is the first year I've ever beat Connor, and so I think I just need to keep playing with him because I haven't lost to him yet all season. There we go. So I just beat him every time. But I before this year, I was the exact we're the exact same level of golfer, and I think Connor shot like a ninety three. Yeah. So like. Not terrible. It's a normal round for you. So, like, I, if, for me, I wouldn't be upset about it either. Yeah. I, mean, I could have shot a 115 and you wouldn't have known how bad I was playing. So, yeah. But yeah, don't bring the mood down. No, it's phenomenal. And did you notice? Uh, so, after Front 938, I, I had to buy, I bought, I bought eight beers, mm -hmm. I bought two beers for each person. I'm like, whatever happens on the back happens. Mm -hmm. If we play good, great. If we don't, it don't matter. We each got beers. It's a beautiful day out. We've never golfed with that, like that group has never golfed together before. I'm like, we're just going to take this all in. We're going to have a good time. And it ended up working out for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't have invited you if I didn't think you guys would all mesh. So, well, I mean, I, we, I've golfed with Connor before yeah. and I can, mm -hmm. I can, I can get along with damn near anybody. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I wouldn't have gone with if I didn't like Anthony. So, good group. I don't golf <laughs> with people I don't like. So. No, 100%. Yeah, I'm not going to. Except for Trevor and Jake. I'm not going to spend wow. a Saturday afternoon golfing. Yeah, golfing with people. That you Trevor, don't like. it's weird having you in Jake's chair. I got to, like, I know. lean over past this giant light to see you. But what was the, uh, what do you think the highlight was? What was the highlight of, of the round on Saturday for you? Okay, I can't remember what hole it was. I think it was like, it was around the 14 air area. Every single one of us one putted and parred a hole. And we when I we all realized it, we're all high-fiving and shit. Yep. And it's like, everything's clicking. Everyone's happy. We're all playing good. Yep. For the first, like, it's tough. For, it would be tough for the four of us to get pars in a scramble, let yeah. alone for all four of us to individually par a hole. Yes, one putt pars yeah for everybody so i thought that was pretty sweet because I, I just don't know if that'll ever happen again i agree i agree um i thought the most interesting thing was how many times our balls off the tee were right next to each other oh my and god how often the other two's balls were right next to each other off the tee. it was an <laughs> uncanny amount of cart golf being played it was unbelievable i don't know what was going on on that specific day um again like for me especially golf swing was dog shit last week yeah but i always tell people and miles called me a pessimist for this last week i was actually kind of fucking pissed at him for doing that <laughs> i said the golf game and the golf swings always temporary so if someone comes up to you like oh yeah yeah you know how's the swing feeling how's the golf game been how's the golf game? how's the golf game been it's temporary yep like yeah this could be good right now but i'm not gonna tell you it's good because next week's gonna be bad mm -hmm. and the swing well, is always temporary be, as well. It could be vice versa too. Like, I'm not going to tell you it's good because Correct. it could be fucking great next week. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's terrible this week, but hey, I know I'm probably, I'm due for a good round here soon. So the golf game, temporary. The golf swing, temporary. Unless you're getting lessons three to four times a week, unless you're practicing every single day. I know someone that got like two, three lessons a week and their golf game was still very temporary. <laughs> and that's out. uh and that's the no. that's that's the realist in me coming out yes we might be close to having career rounds mm -hmm. we might be close to always shooting in the 70s or always shooting in the low 80s but we're not close enough yeah it's always temporary um i, I shot two rounds of 90 plus last weekend two weekends ago this last weekend sub 80 yeah my friends it's always temporary this game's a fickle mm -hmm. bitch so when you're feeling shitty about your golf swing, you're feeling shitty about your golf game, doesn't matter. It's temporary. Drink a beer. Have a beer. Get a good group of guys together. Find the best forecast, the best day. Oh of my forecast. God, the weather was amazing too. You Find could, the, it could not yep. beat it. Uh, yeah, kind of like a sore dick. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it. I thought you were. I, thought <laughs> I was, that was teeing that up for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Saturday. Uh, Saturday was it was. Uh, Kind of like a fairy tale. It was. It was. It was. It was a fucking movie, bro. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> movie. It's, it's so. And well we were that. all the main characters. The uh, cameras weren't even rolling. Uh, the only thing that was rolling was us the, on life. We weren't rolling. No, no we weren't. <laughs> we were rolling on life. Though. I, I tell you what, though, that round <laughs> genuinely gave me because I was feeling kind of down about. Pine to Palm. We're like, all right, I'm going to just fucking do this and Me get too. it over with. Me too. But now I kind of, maybe it was, this round was a curse because now I have a little bit of hope. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, gonna, if I play like that, like I'm going to qualify just fine. Yeah. A hundred percent. Like I understand, I'm going to have to add probably three strokes for a breakfast ball and a couple <laughs> gimmies here we'll and there. We'll take breakfast balls at Pine to Palm. Well, yeah. Okay. I still think it'd be <laughs> fucking hilarious if we show up together and scramble it. <laughs> that will be just, fun. It's not say. Yeah. Like, God, we're playing fantastic cart golf right now. I don't know how we keep landing in the same exact spot, but we do. And uh, like, yeah, we tend to just keep getting the same scores on every hole. I think on the first hole, we should just out loud so our opponents hear this. Be like, uh, Ryan, I think we should take yours. <laughs> just sure. to see their reactions. Yeah, because, okay, we do know who we're golfing with. I think one of them's a dad. Uh, one of them's a dad... Uh, whose whose son is like a really good golfer on one of the high school teams yep. in the area. I think yeah, he might be I thought it was coach. The, I thought it was the high school kid we were playing against. Yeah. Like, God damn, we're going to get our asses <laughs> kicked by a 17-year-old. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think he's dad. I don't know if he coaches or what, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. He's got to have some sort of golf background. So uh, we're, we'll have fun with it. I think 
we should just go out the week before and just purposely shoot a hundred. Okay. So then the next week we're, I mean, we're guaranteed to go low. To see the whole course. You yeah, know, and if trees. we do accidentally go yeah, low, right. just save that scorecard and submit it for kind of palm. <laughs> no, one of us has to keep scores for all four of us because typically yeah. one person in the group is designated to keep everyone's score. Dibs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just going <laughs> to... Yeah. I'll start fluffing up because those guys don't care. They're going to be in flights one and two in the championship, like once qualifying's over. Mm-hmm. We're going to be in like 10 to 14. Yeah. Who's keeping track? Yeah. Not you and I. <laughs> no. I mean, score wise, yes, we're going to keep track, but not what flight we're in at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, anything else to add on Saturday? No, it was a blast though, and it was my first time back to uh, Maple River post John, John Daly D- video. Yes. I was too scared to go in the clubhouse because I didn't want him to be mad at me for puking on the. That's tree. right. <laughs> Uh, we did we did come across the tree. Yeah. And it was partially I mean, it was partially dead. Yeah, it didn't look good. So I don't know if it was a mixture of like the, the Diet Coke that was just killing off the, the needles in this pine tree, but it was partially dead. Yeah, I don't think uh I don't think most plant life enjoys the acidity of diet twelve diet cokes Probably not. being spewed on it with stomach acid included. No, I think uh you could I mean you could can't you like take rust off with Coke? Yeah. Well, that's regular Coke. DC's a little different. Yeah. Well, DC's healthy because it's it, it's got lots it's of it's aspartame. Diet. Yeah. It's labeled diet if you're on a diet. <laughs> you try to lose weight. Because there's no sugar. There's I think the only thing in Diet Coke is sodium. So I keep wondering how do they get the flavor in it? I think there's sugar in Diet Coke, so yeah. um yeah, they just have like Diet Coke flavored sodium that and it's the only thing in there. So it's sparkling water. It's it's plain club soda and then uh, Diet Coke flavored sodium. And they put a little diesel fuel in it. Too, <laughs> color. All right, let's take a break. Okay, uh, one sec, Trevor. Any uh, we got any update from this last week? Yeah, besides basketball cards. Uh, that whole. Nope, I did play Saturday um, with one of my old coworkers and then one of his friends. New group. It was kind of like a little weird, you know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, is this the one? I want to hear about the matchmaking round. Oh, no, not him, not him. Um, I st- You're going to tell that story next segment, though. Yeah, I will. Um, Ooh, so, oh, yeah. Yeah, I got beef with somebody right now. Yeah, you um, do. So, played Rose Creek on Saturday. Um, couldn't get off the tee box to save my life. And usually I play like, really well there, especially the front nine. Front nine I was just horrendous. Mm-hmm. So I go to the back. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get eight alive. I fucking hate the back. I always struggle on it. Birdie hole 10. I'm like, all right, let's let's go. Yeah. Hole Um, 10 is what I think one of my favorite holes on this course. It's so mm -hmm. simple, but you can play it a a hundred different ways. Yeah. Yeah, And the way he he hits like a tight draw with the drive. Yeah. That's Mm -hmm. exactly. It should be perfect. Yep. Yep. So then keep going. Just kind of like struggling, just making pars, bogeys, a couple doubles here and there. Get to 17, hit a drive over the bunker on the right side. Have this weird lie, so I decided to club up to get over this bunker, straight into the bunker. I'm like, you're fucking kidding me, Trevor. The one time you don't want to go in the bunker. Yep. So I can well, go in the bunker. The I'm like, all one right. time. I thought we never want to go in the bunker. No, we don't. I go to the bunker. I'm like, all right, just get it out, get it on the green, make a putt for par. Hit it. It's tracking, tracking. Fucking goes in for birdie. I'm like, all right, let's fuck. Hell yeah. Out of the sand. I'm like, all right, fuck we're yeah. fucking back. Wow. We and got then, uh, out of the sand. Uh huh. We should make that a, a new rule on three part poker. If you hole out from the sand, you get three cards. Yeah, mm-hmm. or five cards, or a hundred cards. You win. <laughs> you win if you hold from the yeah, sand. Yeah, or yeah, just all the money in the pot. Mm-hmm. And then decide on the next tee box to uh, pull my drive <laughs> Gone. into the driving range. <laughs> no, it was into no, the houses 18. on yeah. eighteen. If you pulled I couldn't it, even find it. It might have been in the parking lot, but I don't know. Probably. And yeah. then shot a eighty seven or eighty six. Okay, yeah, so you're just like, pretty good. I know. It's like I played, like I couldn't get off a tee box, but I still played well, which is crazy because like last year, me, I would have been dying to shoot at 86, 87. But yeah. now I'm like, did you putt well? Like, eh. Did you putt well? Putt decent. 1.9 per hole. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. solid. I mean, under two is great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's crazy. I was like shooting at 87. I'm like kind of pissed now. Where it's like yeah, last year, I'd been fucking ecstatic. Yeah, well, you had never broken 90 until this year. <laughs> Shaved almost 10 strokes off my game. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Um, we got to find a fucking scramble to get into. I'm, that's the last thing mm-hmm. I'm going to say before we take a break here. Got to yeah. get into a scramble. Yeah. Um, I'm sick and tired of pegging ourselves as the scramble guys. <laughs> the guys who love scrambles. 
and we have yet to I'm, get into one. This I year. am sick of pegging ourselves as those guys too. Pegging ourselves <laughs> is the worst, dude. Facts. I just, just got to stop pegging ourselves as the scramble guys that don't scramble. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back uh, with Trevor's uh, Trevor's love story. Trevor's in love on the golf course, ladies and gentlemen. The career lows last week were both shot with. Uh, Union Green pin uh, drops. Yes, they were. I, I Actually, I was I was flipping back and forth. If one got dirty, I'd pull the because I here's the thing. I always have one in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I happen to have a T bird number two and a pin drop number three in my pocket. Um, and I typically don't. I typically don't know the number on my ball when I'm playing it because, yeah. no, I mean, no one's typically playing Union Greens with me except for you. So we had yeah. to distinguish it early on. But I I draw on mine now. Specifically because a lot of the people I play with, you, Jake, Miles, Grandpa, all use Union Greens. So the luxury of, oh, that Union Green's got to be me is kind of gone now. Yeah. So I've been marking writing on the balls for the first time ever in my whole golf career. Yep. And I kind of like it. It's a little fun. It's satisfying. You should, uh, you should just get like, that's actually a great, like, it's great activity for kids, young kids, especially like you guys. Yeah. Give them like a like a washable marker, yeah. Um, and just give them a sleeve of golf balls and be like, "Here, boys, draw whatever you want on." I, and I, then you should play with those, dude. I it's did sentimental. see somebody did that for Father's Day. Oh, they did. They gave each of their kid a sleeve of balls and let them draw all over it. Then they just like nicely packaged it back in to make oh. it look like they weren't open yet. No, this is this is an original idea. This is my I. No one's ever done this. You're before. right. It was it's that so you probably posted that. Sorry. Yeah, that was me. That was me. Um, so if you didn't get your dad a gift for Father's Day, <laughs> go get some union greens right now and color all over those bad boys and yeah. give them to your dad as a I'm sorry I forgot about Father's Day gift. And you better not lose this ball because I spent a lot of time drawing mm -hmm. on this thing. But if you did lose it, you wouldn't be out that much money because union greens are the most affordable yet competitive ball on the market. Guys, promo code double bogey 20 at checkout, uniongreen.com. Go check them out. Go get them. F the flat sticks. Ryan, what, what kind of putters do we have? Spitfire. Bad attack. Not to brag. Who's the I parent? mean, that is the hottest. That's the hottest a putter has ever been in my hand before. Same. And trust me, I've touched the stove and learned to never touch it again. But I've now touched a hot putter and I always want to touch it again. Mm -hmm. So it's like... Um, it's one of those deals where I, uh, I'll i never have cold hands again. Right. Yeah, dude. I, I played with an old couple last night. Got paired with a, I shouldn't say old. It's rude. An L. They're old. Elderly. Whatever. They're old couple. I played like shit, right? You did? My putter didn't, though. Ooh, I putted shit. out of my fucking mind again. I had a couple lip outs that would have been really, really cool if yeah. they went in, but I didn't. Um. But yeah, that was the only club working for me yesterday. So it's nice to have something stay consistent two rounds in a row. Well, that's why I putt with a glove on. Um, and yes, you did hear that correctly. I putt with a glove on. Yeah. Um, um, according to the internet, that's insane. But what I have to say to that is eat shit. Ryan had nine one putts last yeah, week. Yeah. Uh, you ever 1.6 putt per hole with a glove on? I didn't think so. Yeah. But you can if you get yourself a new PXG putter. Mm -hmm. Um. God, it was such a good feeling that if I didn't feel super comfortable with the driver off the tee, I just go driving iron. Yep. I, I got, I have the X iron, the X stiff shaft. It's a 19 degree loft. Um, cause I was hitting the irons pretty good. I would just pull that out of the bag, leave the driver in mm -hmm. say, Hey, we're just going to go 240 to 250 left side, right side of the fairway, mid middle mm -hmm. of the fairway. didn't matter. Mm -hmm. Um, makes the guy feel good. Well, you know, I know how far I hit my hybrid now because my hybrid and your driving iron go the exact same distance mm -hmm. because we played the most unbelievable cart golf that's correct we were like ryan would be four yards in front of me then i'd be four yards in front of him but it was like this like we were hitting the same club off the tee every yep. time it was unbelievable um guys we can only do this with pxg that's who we're talking about right mm -hmm. now both rocking the gen sixes if you want to schedule a fitting go to the website schedule the fitting you're not going to be disappointed however you're going to be sore. You're going to swing a lot of times. Yes, you are. You're going to hit a lot of Stretch balls. Stretch first. But you're not going to be disappointed what you get set up with after the fact. PXG.com. Go check them out. Oh Tyler, God. before we get into Trevor's uh, matchmaking love story, um, I want to let the listeners know 
now. I mean, we are, we're about halfway through the golf season and the goals that you and I had set out for ourselves have both been now crushed. crushed. Um, my goal was to break 80 twice this year. Mm -hmm. I've done that. Your goal is to break 90 once. Mm -hmm. You've done it twice. Mm -hmm. um, and beat grandpa. So we're going to have to maybe come up with some second half of the summer type goals. Yeah. So that we we have some, we have something to chase. You always need something to chase. I think we set this already in a random one-off podcast. Well, not a one-off podcast, but just a random, not in a segment or anything, not a goal segment, but I think we set this as one. We need to win a fucking tournament. Yeah, we need yeah, we need to win a it could be scramble. Yep. It could be bean bags. I don't give a shit. We yeah. just gotta win a tournament. Well, we can't win tournaments if we don't sign up for tournaments. I so, know. Um, we gotta get a fucking scramble. Anyway, Trevor, uh what I feel like love was not created on the golf course for you. Nope. Um, but someone tried to create one of the most magical love stories known to man. Not even close. Well, it would have been like Happy Gilmore and Virginia Bennett. Virgi yeah. Virginia Bennett, I think it Bennett, is. You're right. Yeah. VV. They're all VV in, yeah. the, in the Happy yeah. Madison. Vicky, Vicky Valancourt. Yeah. <laughs> Veronica Vaughn. Veronica Vaughn. I actually didn't even notice that. Yeah. Uh, that's why those movies are elite. Mm. Uh, uh, anyway, there's someone tried to do that to you in real life, except golfing. Yep. Set the stage for us, Trevor. So someone tried to someone tried to set you up on a date. That included himself also and his girl. Mm -hmm. So just set the set well, the stage. Actually, for us. what's going first, on here? Set the stage with guys. Trevor is single and ready to mingle. He is twenty three yep. years wow. old. Wow. He um he likes long walks on the fairway. Yep. <laughs> um and he likes listening to the Lumineers in the dark. Okay, go. He likes to watch the sunset too while he's teeing off on a par mm, four. That is true. It this is, is fun to do. It very, yeah. Um, so I played this guy. I've played with golf all the time. Like we always, it was like my playing partner, pretty much. Yeah. So, um, he we played like a month ago, and he brought his girlfriend and this friend, but it was just kind of like me and him playing, like whatever. Like it was fine. Me and him in the cart. Those two just driving around, just having a good time. You okay. know, just hanging out. Yep. Perfectly fine. I was like, okay, whatever. And then he asked me to play a couple weeks ago, and I was like, okay, yeah, let's do it. We haven't played in a while. And then I asked him the middle of the day, I'm like, who's playing? He goes, oh, it's you, me, his girlfriend, and the friend again. And I'm like, brother, why can't we get like a foursome ever of like just <laughs> us guys like going and playing against each other? Like, See, like, I think that's, that's, I mean, that's problem number one is, is like, they're not married. Nope. Right. And I just, I can imagine well, how long have been dating, like a year, maybe two years. Not even a year. And he's already, including here on this many golf outings mm -hmm. I, I mean it's it's a recipe for it's disaster. a mistake it is, is what we're it saying is. yeah who shouldn't be doing that because pretty soon he's not going to be able to golf with just his friend she won't let him she'll yeah. only mm -hmm. want to golf with him and that's why he's projecting on a trevor now yep. trying to get him into he's the trying to trap situation. you I don't yes know. Okay. run continue um, trevor so we get there and then the one girl was late so i was like which mm, one the girlfriend or the, one. or the friend the friend Oof, so okay. i was like all right bad look already and then i was like you motherfucker you're trying to do this to me again and he goes dude it, i asked literally everybody i'm like no you didn't <laughs> so I'm, I'm like you're getting in my car i'm not fucking riding with her just because like i don't really know her i don't want to know she's her icky and i don't want to be with her Which girls have cooties yeah. and i don't want one yeah, yeah okay that's fair um so we get to playing and it's just like we get to the first tee and his girlfriend tees off she's like starting to get golf she has a driver now so like she just kind of wants to start yeah so first of all, she teed off. She's getting better. She has a driver now. But no, like she's hey, like that, start, she's starting to get into golf. You know, that's like actually a bit. that's a great way to get into golf. Just give him one club. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, you're just gonna hit tee box shots today. Yeah, yep. you get really fucking good at tee box yeah. shots. Anyway, and then we get to the, like <laughs> just picks up her drive. We go to the next, next hole. You made her pick. You didn't make her go dodd. Driver off deck. Fuck no. You should have, dude. No, but she's like, <laughs> she, <laughs> you have, Trevor, here's where you're messing up at. Uh, mistake number one is your buddy keeps bringing his girlfriend with to the golf course. Uh, mistake number two, you need to do everything in your power to make her hate the game of golf as yeah. much as possible. So she does just not give her the wrong clubs. <laughs> just walk with yeah. her. Like she tries yeah. to get back in the cart, and you just pull ahead really quick. Yeah. She gets in. Just keep yeah. doing it over and over. God, you know, actually, if like if you if you keep digging the like the fairway or the rough up that much, they're actually not gonna allow you back on the course. So mm -hmm. let, me just, yep. let me just put the clubs back in the bag. So you're gonna have to like 
I know your divot kind of exploded into a million pieces, but you're going to have to find some yeah. dirt and grass to fill that yeah, hole grab all those pieces on. and put it back. <laughs> I should have. And then, like, she started, like, then she'd hit a tee shot, and then she's like, oh, I want to finish the hole. So she'd grab his boyfriend's clubs and play with her, his clubs, which, fine, okay, perfectly fine. Don't touch my clubs. And then it was like, we get to the tee box, and it's like she's pulling three balls out. And then she's doing three balls on every shot, and I'm like, are you my fucking... God. This is the girlfriend still, correct? Yes, okay. the girlfriend. And then the friend joined on hole five. She, she was did, that late? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, and like she did not like she just kind of wanted to like, hang out, you know, drink and just ride in the cart. And then she, the girlfriend was like, oh, you should play too. I'm like, mm. oh my fucking God. Because they don't have clubs. It's me and him that have the clubs in our cart. So like, we had to sit and wait for them. Yeah. Okay. And, and so what happened was, was this girl probably like they probably watched one TikTok about a golf girlfriend. That's like, mm -hmm. hey, had, it's fun to ride with and yep. find balls. Yep. That's correct. That's correct. It's Watches that, one TikTok, immediately thinks she's a golf girlfriend that can <laughs> sit in the cart for 18 holes. No. And um, so then they both started playing. And then it was like, well, they're waiting for his clubs and he kind of needs his clubs so he'd use my clubs and then i'd get like be like here you can use my putter you can use like my wedge just to hurry the fuck up like let's go there's guys on our ass and i just felt so bad why were you i mean okay my first question is why are we so angry yeah you're still angry i can feel the anger because it's like yeah i know it sucks but like what you can't really do anything about it well i can i can just never golf with him again i mean that is an option Okay, like, so all this golf, like, I mean, all the golf side, we 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 can kind of we can we understand how the golf went. So why did he do this? Was he trying to set you up with this yes. girl, or what's what's the deal? I don't think so. Are you attracted to her? No, physically. If you ignore all of the golf <laughs> stuff, are uh, you attracted to her? No. Well, and and you don't need to. Are lie. you saying that because she's listening and you don't want it to be awkward I next know time? No, she's not listening. Well, she is a golf girl now, though. Yeah. So she no. Uh -huh. So uh, a majority of the golf girls out there that like to ride in the cart and find balls and mm -hmm. read books in the cart and stuff. That's I, they that's listen fine. to this podcast. Mm -hmm. I'll take one of those if you want to just ride along, read a book, and just hang out. Perfect. But unless you want to like, I think one or two holes, but not like try to play all eighteen holes when you're just starting. Well, she didn't play eighteen. She showed up uh, on, yeah, hole okay, five. on hole yeah. five. But then it's also <laughs> don't know like when to pick up. Like after eight shots, like, pick up your ball. There's stri strike number one where she showed Trevor's up. So three late. rules to be a golf girl he's attracted to: one, show up on time. Yep. Two, have course etiquette. Yep. Three. Don't touch my fucking clubs. Yeah, yeah. No, that's and, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't. That's it. He's in. Then he's in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't push your limits either. Like, mm -hmm. um, if I let you take a couple shots here and there, uh, enjoy those couple shots. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. ask. Don't ask for more. Just hit like hit a few. No, I'm play, 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 like, play like one or two holes, and then take a break. Play another one, two holes, and take a break. But it was like it was. I felt so bad for the people behind us, and I was like, I get, I hit my shot, sit in the cart for five minutes, and I was like, okay, now I have to wait until I hit my next shot. Well, and okay, and and. Like it's fine if if they want to come out and and take some shots, whatever. Mm -hmm. But you like you're not in a position to where you can say, "All right, guys, you know we, we should yep. we should maybe like pick up the pace, play a little bit." Uh, mm -hmm. Like everyone gets one ball, everyone gets one shot, and then we're moving on. I have to bite my tongue and just let it happen. You don't know them well enough. No. So did you think you were going to come out of this round like possibly with love? No. Do you think you could ever find love on the golf course? I think I could. Just different circumstances. Like what kind of circumstances? Do you think you could find love in a hopeless place? I think I could. Like, are, are you, um, well, with you being 23, I think you, you're still taking the game, ser which you should. You're still mm -hmm. taking the game seriously, and, yep. and it's not a place. You don't want to mix business with pleasure, golf mm -hmm. being the business side of things. Yep. I met my wife when I was 23, so remember I met that. my wife when I was 16. <laughs> I thought you met your wife when you were like 12. No, I was 16. She was 14. Oh. Mm. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Trevor, you're way behind Ryan. I know, I yeah, am. I'm so, on par with you though. Yeah, we're chilling. Yeah. yeah. So you met your wife. Good job. Nope. Because I mean, we 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 had discussed this a couple weeks ago of like, um, uh, it's a slippery slope when you start introducing your significant other into your hobbies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's and like, I think Becca listened to that dude. She's just been golfing on her own. I respect. Back. Like yeah. going out, getting solo tea times and paired with randos. Shut up. I swear. Oh, Shut my up. God. I swear. Are you shitting me? So, because she, she knows that, like, it 
one, it's really hard for us to go off together because then we had to do something with the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And two, she knows I'll get frustrated if she goes and she fucks up, essentially. I actually respect the shit out of that. Same. And she got she got her first birdie ever uh, alone the other day. And this is her story. And I believe it. Hole one at Prairie Wood. So that she showed up. She got paired with three three guys our age that were just there to fuck around and have a good time. She's like, <laughs> God damn it. Like the, No way. She's like, I would have rather got paired with like three old guys than, oh, yeah. than, these, than these bros. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so she warns them. She's like, hey, I'm just, I'm learning the game. Um, so be patient with me. I'll pick my ball up if I'm slow. Dude, good and for her. First mm -hmm. hole, she goes driver par three. Uh, the first hole at Prairie Wood. She said she stuck it within like eight feet and then sunk the long putt. Damn. And so these guys Damn. thought she was full of shit, that she was a Fuck. stick. How, and, Tyler, how sexy do you think that is? I mean, kind of. Okay. I mean, I think it's kind of lame. <laughs> I think it's kind of lame she had to use driver on par three. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, also, it's like, you got to worry about these other three guys. Huh? They see a, Look, uh, they see a girl birdie in hole one. They're she, like, oh. she did tell me what group she was with. And I was like, hey, just mention you have a husband a lot because golfers are horny. <laughs> <laughs> just say my name a ton. Well, apparently Trevor wasn't horny when he was playing. True. Trevor's the that. only not the only unhorny golfer. I don't, know, that, if, I don't no, know if that's yeah. the correct terminology. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with it, Tyler. Yep. Um, I shout out Becca. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually respect that. Put some respect on that. <laughs> I did. Respect I am. Yeah, name. I am right now. Um, you know what would be wild? What? Is if they had uh if they had the bachelor for a golfer. <laughs> so let's say like this can either be like Trevor's situation of trying to find love or this could be someone's situation of trying to find like the playing partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. The yeah. go-to playing partner. Like it's to find your Connor and it's to find my Adam and it's to find Trevor's who's your best playing partner? Isaac. Isaac. It's to find Trevor's Isaac. What wow. do you think would be more viewed? Finding love as like the bachelor for golfers or finding the best playing partner. Oh, well, cause you're a badger fan. You're a big bachelor fan. I am. I've watched mm -hmm. lots of seasons. I'm, I'm starting to lose interest though. Uh, the bachelor is, it's got many issues and it's, I just add that's, this is completely besides the point. And this is how we spice things up. Yeah. Bachelor nation is starting to lose me. Uh, so figure your fucking shit out, ABC, or you'll have one loyal fan gone. Well, I think Two Turn Tony is going to be the next. Which I hate. Yeah. I mean, I, I, that actually might get me to watch. Yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a completely different show. Uh, so it'll be good for yeah, it. it. It'll be. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just bored of watching the same fucking show for the 110th time in a row. But I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, me personally... If there was some sort of reason he need you, the bachelor needed a golf partner, like if they was going to like the world championship two person scramble, then I would think that's that would get more views. Because like if there is an actual sporting event following it, or if there wasn't that, then actually like finding a wife on the course yeah. would be would be more viewed. Well, I mean, I, I mean, finding a wife on the course that. You, but I think for you can this do many things to vet that. I mean, you can okay. Uh, each per, like each, let's say you start out with like like ten women. All right, you're trying to find love. You're trying to find the love of your. You're trying to find the love of your life as a playing partner. Um, you schedule a tea time. You schedule like seven a.m. tea times. Who shows up on time? Who shows up fifteen minutes early? Yeah. Who shows up five minutes late? That's a good test. Okay, yeah. there's a great test right there. Um, who's picking balls up? And moving to the next hole if they're not playing well. Who's uh, who's replacing their divots? Well, it's and it's all it's all a uh, part of what the bachelor person here likes too. If what if they're ultra competitive and they respect the person didn't pick up their ball and just quit the hole? That's true. Uh, there's I'll, there's a lot of different things to consider. What if like what if she buys a cooler of beers at the turn? Yeah, and then you immediately tell the other girls to leave. Okay, so this is how we structure the show. We are at a, It's a weekend golf trip. He's okay. finding his wife in one weekend here. Okay. 
Well, I mean, they do, they do fucking love is blind where they yeah. don't even see the person. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is this is completely practical. Yep. Okay, so we're a weekend golf trip. This is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday golf trip. We're playing eighteen holes Friday, thirty six Saturday, eighteen more on Sunday. Putting them through the gauntlet, uh-huh. seventy two holes. Someone's <laughs> gone after every uh, seventy two holes. Ten women. It would be like someone's gone after every seven holes. You could do twelve. Well, you could do twelve women. Uh, you could do three. Three leave after each set of eighteen. Okay, I like that. So after yeah. every eighteen holes, the bachelor has to get rid of three girls. Yeah, and the last eighteen <laughs> holes, there's what four left, mm-hmm. and then they pick, they pick the winner out of those four. <laughs> yeah, and there's gimmicks built into all these these rounds, right? Mm-hmm. So like the one on one date is Friday night after the round. Whoever he picks for his one on one gets to go to the clubhouse and have beers, nineteenth and, hole, and, and a burger. They go to the nineteenth yeah. hole. And Hell then yeah! The next one on one, he gets to pick who's having a hot dog at the turn with him on the next mm, round. Yes. Um, and like the girls, they like, uh, the, they do those stupid games in The Bachelor. They compete to be his cart partner. Yep. Yeah. Get more uh-huh. time that way. And there's like. Uh, there's a longest drive hole. Longest drive girl wins something. Well, the longest putt. Closest to the pin. Yeah, yeah. Well, long, yeah, longest drive automatically moves to the next foursome. Yeah. 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 And then there's like, because there's tea times. You got to, you're not going to be with them the whole time. Yeah. You got to mix it around. Yeah. Imagine like uh, two girl, like two girls from like, two girls from the group riding in a cart together kind of like maybe they don't get along that good. Maybe yeah. One's trying to get the attention yeah. of the other and one gets annoyed of the other. Right. Well, and the, if someone's there, just to try to get his attention. Are they there for the right reasons? Because the right reasons are golf. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, also, I mean, if they're scrambling too, it's like, are you going to contribute today or not? Right. Mm-hmm. Are you just here to find balls and drink booze? Because if so, <laughs> then you're here for the right reasons. <laughs> Whoever finds the most balls on the hole gets to advance. Yeah, there's That's a scavenger hunt actually. hole. I mean, did we just write an entire show? Yes. I mean, they turned mini golf into a fucking reality show holy moly is a thing i had why can't that this be a yeah. thing uh it's true. steph curry's the host uh-huh. oh really yeah. yeah yeah i mean i feel like more tv shows are including golf these days mm-hmm. and it's like hey if you want to find love maybe uh maybe you go a different route with it tyler maybe you go with the gal that's the least interested in the game of golf while you're out there yeah it's mm-hmm. completely up to the the bachelor of this yeah because then it's like hey if she's this uninterested when she's trying to like gain my attention, then I know if I start dating or, or her or get married to her, she's not going to be crashing the party with me and my buddies. Yep. Or just marry an absolute stick. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> that actually be kind of another oh God, Dude, Marry so a stick. Cause then every time you go to a four person scramble, she, you're going to use her drive on every um, single yep. hole. Yep. Me and my wife versus you two, you and your wife. Just yeah, get whacked. that's fantastic. Actually, who would be the who is the best host for this? Do you think the best host is Charles Barkley? Charles Barkley would be a pretty good host. He knows golf. We need somebody kind of weird. I mean, yeah, Charles Barkley is a great, yeah. great option. I was gonna say like, uh, like I think Paulina Gretzky would be a great host because she like. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, I feel like she'd be she'd be the type. I, of, I agree. Uh, no, she'd be the type of gal that would go on a show like this. To yeah, fly. I mean, uh-huh. she married DJ. That's true. Yeah, like, or uh, Jenna Sims would do it too. Brooks's wife. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I was gonna say like, um, God, why can't I think of his name right now? Is Chris Hansen the uh, uh, catch How to Catch a Predator? Um. Yes, Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison, yeah, is yeah, the yeah. former okay. bachelor. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Who are you trying to think of right now? Is he a golfer? No, no, no. Give us. Uh, what are you typing? In Carl here? Weathers. I don't know who. No, that is. Carl Weathers is the actor that played Chubbs. Oh. Because oh. yep. he's also in the Mandalorian now, so he's like still doing stuff, but he's not like. It's not like he's on blockbuster movies right now yeah. he's just doing like disney channel show or disney plus shows so i mean he would host something like this adam mm-hmm. sandler would also be a great host yep. yeah he's he's he wouldn't ever do that i don't think i mean yeah, yeah he, you're right he's not gonna fuck around with that well no, tyler i mean this is all hypothetical <laughs> true i'll pitch it to him i'll pitch it to him <laughs> well i mean what if we get greenlit on this what if some studio exec 
hears us and they know that we have TM'd this, trademarked, TM, 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 and they want to make our show. We have to come up with a name for it. Um, we'll workshop it. Maybe we'll come yeah. back next week. Yeah. This amazing. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe what we should do, Tyler, is at the bottom of the Spotify episode, put a uh, put like a, an entry box, text box, mm-hmm. and if people have mm-hmm. creative names for um, this this bachelor for golfers, <laughs> toss it in there. The golfer it. This is gonna piss me off. <laughs> you get the because usually I can come up with a pretty clever name. Yeah. Uh, Tinder for golfers was Swinger Golf. Mm. Uh, Bachelor for golfers is going to be. Uh... Okay, we're going to. No okay, okay, okay. We're going to go radio silent for 10 seconds here. <laughs> the podcast did not cut out on you, but we are going to try and think of one really good name. Okay, radio silent, 10 seconds, go. Okay, we're back. Um, the names I thought of were really were really explicit. So were mine. Uh, <laughs> why did I got immediately went dirty? Well, the first one, is, the uh, the first one is hole in love. That's a good. That's, that's, a, good that's a good one. That's a good one. That's not dirt. That's not explicit. No. no. Okay. Well, it, in my mind, it's it a was. golf. Hole okay, in that's one. A good one. Hole in love. Hole I in was like boned on the back nine. Like <laughs> right. That's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was dude. like, oh, well, that's a completely different show and it's on HBO after 10 o'clock. <laughs> Tyler, oh, you Jesus. know what we could call it? We could call it Piped. <laughs> <laughs> um, the perfect match. Uh, oh, okay. Dude, that's okay. so cringe. <laughs> yeah, but so is every reality <laughs> yeah. dating I know, show. I know, I know. Um. Hey, what if they had like the masked the ma- you know the masked singer? Yeah. What if they had that yeah. the, called the, the masked, masked swinger. swinger? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a way better idea. Um, I have <laughs> hole in love. Uh, Trevor has uh, the perfect match. The perfect. Did you say perfect or par? Par. 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 You say par. 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 Perfect. Par. Par. Perfect match. I mean, you, you could also just call it like match play. Yeah. <laughs> just another one. <laughs> just say, say it. You gotta say, say it. it. You gotta say it. We have the explicit tag on this pod. You know, so. we got our first hole, 18th hole, 19th hole. This could be your last hole. <laughs> the same hole. You're just trying to find your last hole. Same hole forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the 20th hole. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, well, I don't know. Do we do a do we do a poll? Do we do the text box? On yeah, the we'll, we'll throw episode? the text yeah. thing on Spotify. Okay, Tyler's gonna throw some at the bottom of the Spotify episode. Um, if we'll you guys, publish the funniest ones. Yeah, if you think this is a viable idea, I published some really funny pre-shot routines because that was the question last week. Okay. What was what's your pre-shot routine? Yeah, there's some really good ones, like some actual like informative ones, and then some really funny ones. And I published mostly the funny ones, but nice. I haven't seen any. Yeah, you should show me those. Go on Spotify and look. Okay, we'll do. Yeah. Um, we got anything else? That's all I got. Okay, so we're sit- here's what we're sitting with: hole in love, mm-hmm. the perfect match. I think hole in love is the winner. Yeah. And what what was yours? The twenty last the last hole. hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got it's got legs. Uh, yeah, it's, no, it's just like it's all mine. Legs. All it's mine immediately legs. make it a different show. <laughs> I I'll be hope. I'll be honest. If there's one thing that can take me away from watching uh, guys rip open packs of sports cards right now, it's it's a show about a golfer trying to find love on the course. Who would not want to watch that? Give me an answer. Who wouldn't want to watch that? Besides someone who doesn't golf <laughs> or likes reality TV. That's true. <laughs> Otherwise, everyone will watch it. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So this could literally reach. Seven billion people. Yeah, and if yep. this, if we post a video of this and it blows up, we will make this reality show happen with Trevor yes! being the golfer. But you can't be a grumpy asshole like you were about your last yeah. golf day. And if they want to use your clubs, you have to let them. Yeah, it's not like your clubs are that fucking nice either, Trevor. Seriously, we got them all last year, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> but like, you can't be grumpy because you can be blasted in front of a million people. That's true. Good. You gotta, you gotta. And if I'm editing it, I will pull a classic <laughs> Bachelor and make you look like the villain in the edit. Yeah, you, you have to be nice. 
You have to be nice, Trevor. Mm, okay. Okay. Well, we got the format. We maybe have the name. If you guys got a name, drop it in the bottom of the Spotify episode. Um, and that's all we got for the week, you guys. Tyler, you got any final words? I got two of them. Love you. Love you. Love you. Hey, pipe that the wrong fucking way. I'll call the clubhouse. We'll book another 18 for tomorrow. Okay, they cheated on that. They fucked their balls. Yeah, no better time for the breakfast ball than now. Ha, ha, ha.